Efforts to clean up the Great Lakes could soon hit a massive speed bump. President Trump's budget plan would slash funding to the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative from $300 million to $10 million. It's a move that has upset both environmental groups and mayors of cities that rely on the lakes. Let's get out to Jamie Edmonds live. And Jamie, these are just proposed cuts right now, right? That's right, Kimberly. We can call this a rough draft from President Trump for the 2018 budget, but, but with these numbers as is, it has a lot of people concerned. This is the Clinton River Spillway project, which just began last year. The goal, increase the floodplain and wetland potential for fish habitats. Because of being in an urban watershed like the Clinton River, a lot of the surrounding landscape has been modified. Um, and so we've lost a lot of the habitat for the fish and wildlife. This project is being funded by the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. What is the GLRI? Well, it's a program which began in 2010 and it funds state and local projects that combat invasive species, restore wildlife habitats and clean up watersheds that have been polluted. All those areas uh, that surround our Great Lakes is what the GLRI focuses on. This is Matt Einhauser, an ecologist for the Clinton River Watershed Council. He says since the GLRI went into effect, the 760 square mile area that is the Clinton River watershed has received nearly 40 million in restoration efforts. He says they've been vital. Under President Trump's current budget plan, the GLRI would be cut by 97% and they don't know what would happen for this project and others in the area. It's sad to hear because this money is, is very important to the area and to our resources, and a lot of work, great work has been done. And we're not just talking about work here in Macomb County. I talked to the mayor of Monroe. The River Raisin was cleaned up with these GLRI funds. Also, the Detroit River has work being done to remediate the sediment down below and all of these people say if this budget passes as is they don't know what would happen with these projects they think they would all stop so jamie do we know when we'll know something for sure or what's next in all of this well this is going to be a long process apparently president trump has to get some sort of budget plan set by march 13th now this needs congressional approval now here's the good thing that people are thinking. It had bipartisan approval to begin with, Democrats and Republicans, and now both of those people don't really like this, so maybe uh, this won't go as planned. Right. Live in Macomb, Jamie Edmonds, back to you. Yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. Jamie, thank you.